I don't often use uh, profit charts in Thinkorswim, but there are some pretty neat features in it. Um, this is a simple uh, profit chart, which you can find by clicking Charts and Profit for Apple year-to-date daily. Let's go up here and let's click on um, Other. Actually, let's click on Symbols. Show Options. It will populate the right-hand side of the screen with um, action buttons for calls and puts, and you can look at single, dual-leg, and multi-leg option strategies. So let's go into a drawing tool. Let's take the drawing tool for Fibonacci retracements, and let's just draw. A, whoops. Let's just draw a quick fib here. Let's delete that. And let's just draw a quick fib in here. It's not the fastest uh, drawing tool in the world. And let's just do it right to there. Quick and dirty uh, fib tool. So let's say that we see some support um, around here in the fib area, and we wanted to look at a strategy for buying the next set of calls, which is this week's calls. So we click on the C. Whoops, I'm still in drawing tools. I need to go back to the arrow, right down here. So let's click on the calls. This is the March 11th, that's this week's 350 calls. We can compare it to the monthly calls. We're looking at implied volatility down here, by the way, and we can see that implied volatility went down, starting to rise a little bit uh, last week. If we wanted to do a dual leg spread, we could um, turn these off here. And let's just say we wanted to do a um, buy and sell. So let's click these two here, and it'll give us a bear call spread or a bull call spread. I think it's um, pretty cool. If you want to see how these look on an, a risk analysis chart, you would say trade now. Go over here and click on the little blue button and say analyze a duplicate trade. And just take a look at what this trade looks like on the risk analysis chart. And from there, you can go and send the order create the opposite order, analyze the opposite trade. So let's analyze it now in the other direction. And we now have a bull spread. So by now I think you get the idea. So profit charts are um, pretty cool.